Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys. And today guys, I'm going to go ahead and be showing you how to edit audio in GarageBand. This is a very simple thing to do guys, so make sure to watch this quick and easy video till the very end, follow my steps correctly so you can make sure this works the same for you and that you can do this yourself. But yeah guys, let's get straight into it. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up the official GarageBand application if you haven't already. If you do not have it, just go to the App Store and download it and after opening it up, you'll be greeted by this home page right here which is the main page of the application where as you can see we can get started with recording ourselves so we have two options guys we can either access a live loop right here to go ahead and record a loop or we can go ahead and record the tracks ourselves so here you can go ahead and get started playing an instrument like the keyboard drums and so on you can even go ahead and plug in a guitar or bass and record yourself or you can just use the audio recorder option to get started with recording yourself your vocal and your music so let's go ahead and open up audio recording this is where we can get started with editing our tracks it works mostly the same for every kind of recording even if you're using keyboard drums or just vocals it works the same basically right here at the top of the screen we have the big red circle that's going to enable us to get started with recording so go ahead and click the circle as you can see it's going to start the recording process and now we can get started with adding our effects the first thing we can do is add the effect to our vocals as you can see we have the sci-fi option right here monster robot and so on and we can go ahead and manage our tone and the squeeze as you can see right here with the slider so you can go ahead and manage your tone squeeze and so on and in the upper left corner you have the sliders option so once you click those sliders it's going to open up your audio settings where you can see you can access your plugins and equalizer you have your master effects and so on so you can manage your echo your reverb you can manage your bass that you want and basically that's how you can get started with adding effects you can click on them for even more effects to add your compressor distortion and so on to get your desired audio effects and then you can go ahead and put them in your, into your track but yeah guys basically that is it how to do it so i hope this video was helpful if it was make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel see you guys thanks for watching Take care and bye.